How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and in today's video I'm going to show you how to play this lead part to Sleepwalk by Santo and Johnny. Now I'm going to break down how I play this melody with the bends and using some sixths and I'm also going to talk about how the melody notes here sort of outline the chord changes. So this will help you when you want to solo over this chord progression. It's a really fun one to play over. But before we get started, I want to hook you up with something right away and put something in your hand. This is my book, Melodic Expressions. It's all about soloing, and you can download it for free at the first link down below. You'll also get some blues training videos and some other tabs that are not on YouTube. So check that out at the first link down below. And with that said, let's break this song down. Let's break down how to play Sleepwalk as recorded by Santo and Johnny. We're going to go over the A section melody here, and I'm going to talk about how the line kind of relates to the harmony and how you can solo over this chord progression. So I'll play the first part for you, and then we'll break it down. Here's what it sounds like. Alright, so the band is playing these chords C, A minor, F minor to G7. And I start out by just bending into the tonic or the root note. This is the note C way up here. We're bending into that 13th fret. So I'm going to start on 11 here and bend a whole step. Then I'm going to let the melody fall down and I'm going to resolve it to that eighth fret on, this is all on the second string. Then I'm gonna walk down here to the sixth fret and go. So that's six, eight, and then a little bend, half step bend. For the F, F minor chord. Then I play six there. So one thing I love to do is play the melody all on one string because I think it just gets a really cool kind of vocal quality to it. And it takes away some of the sort of guitar isms that we can do when we're soloing where we can jump big octaves and that's cool. But sometimes I just want to sound like a singer and go and play on one string. So that's the next part. So you hit that sixth fret and you slide all the way up to 13 and then back down to eight. So. So, so far we've got. And I'm trying to, whenever I'm sitting on a note or I'm holding a band, to add vibrato, right? And I'm just trying to keep it in the groove of the music and keep the feeling of the music in mind. And I want my vibrato to kind of match the vibe. Okay, now I do this part again. But sometimes I like to play it in sixths, like this. Which is a great sound. And what I'm doing there is playing the sixth fret on the fourth string and then the sixth on the second string. And walking together. Six, eight, nine. Eight, six. Now I like to think of these as if it was like a background singer coming in and providing a harmony, right? 
And if there was another singer, it might that person might not sing right exactly with the main singer. So if this is the main singer, the lead singer, and then here's your backup. They might not necessarily necessarily sound like this. They might sound something more like, you know, just slightly kind of one off from the other. You know, and, and they might play sometimes right together like, I just like to kind of play with the timing of how I play each note. So if, if you were using a pick, which I'm not using a pick, you could pick this note and then use hybrid picking, right? So I would, if I was hybrid picking, I would have a pick and then the middle finger. But since I'm just playing finger style right now, I've got thumb and index like this. So. Then I slide up to the, to the uh, eighth fret there, six to eight on the second string. Then. Now this is, the band is going C to A minor, right? We're doing that. And the melody, look, it's outlining a C chord. If I put all those notes together, we've got a C triad right there. And then it goes down to the note A for the E, right? So the the melody is just following the chords, right? And that's what you want to do when you solo. Like this right here. You, hear, you can hear the changes right in there. This is going to the flat third of the F minor. So, so that's what you want to think about, and and I do that. I visualize triads like this, and I'll play arpeggios and try and outline the chords because it's just a visual thing to me. I'm moving from one chord to another. It's it's not necessarily a lot of scales for me, but then we go down here and just do this blues bend. So that's. Five, five, then bend on seven on the third string. Then five, seven, seven on the fourth string. Five on the third string. Da, de, de, de. So. Then I love doing the, the harmonics here. That's a really cool sound. So that's 12 on the third string, seven on the fourth string, 12 on the first string, 12 on the second string. And then you got the F minor, G7, you know, and I did something like. That's your uh, six again, like. That's a nice chord. Stole that one from Larry Carlton. That's uh, 8, 10, 12, 12, 12, 12 with the pinky there. So it's a tough chord to play, but great sound. So one more time, all together it goes. fun working on the melody to sleepwalk and as I mentioned earlier I would recommend you playing the chord progression into a looper pedal and then first practice just playing this melody over it and then improvise a little bit mess with 
the notes, mess with the rhythms, and see what you come up with. Before you go, don't forget to download my book all about soloing and get the free blues training. Thanks so much for your support here on the channel. As always, leave any song requests in the comments below. Keep practicing, and we'll see you next time.